Are you ready for the summer? Are you ready for the sunshine? Are you ready for the birds and bees? The apple trees and a whole lot of fooling around. Are you ready for the summer? Are you ready for the hot nights? Are you ready for the fireflies, the moonlit skies, and a whole lot of fooling around? No more pencils, no more books, no more teachers, dirty books. No more math and history. Summertime has set us free. Are you ready for the summer? Are you ready for the good times? Are you ready for the fun and fun? And the sun and the summer is ready for the summer. You ready for some fun? Ooh, are you ready for some summer fun? Oh, man. Summertime has certainly set us free. Big Sabers, I'm Punky Bruiser, and this is yet another brand new episode of Punky's Mixed Day. Happy Wednesday! Wednesday is a hell of an episode. Hell of an episode for you to see. We are honored to have Florissant as our featured guest of the week. Coming in from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Oh, yeah. So much to catch up on. Mixtapers, so many amazing bands this week. And if uh, you haven't got a chance to check out our promo, well, take a second and kick back and enjoy yourselves. Tension's been pretty high this season. <laughs> You're telling me. That's not the only thing that's been high around here. And HR thought it'd be helpful if maybe we got to know each other a little bit better? Why? So we can learn who's most likely to eat us while we sleep? Or which one of us has been smoking the marijuana in the gentleman's washroom? Let's just start by playing a team building game. I'm not going to play a game with that bozo. He cheats every time we play a game with dominoes, checkers. Every time we play, he cheats and I'm and it's sick of it. Two truths and a lie. Uh, do we really have to do this? Unfortunately, we're legally obligated to complete these exercises. Mm, let's just do it and get it over with. What do we have to do? It's simple. All you gotta do is just write down two things that someone might not know about you and make up one lie. Then we're gonna read them out loud and all try to guess the lie and it'll be a lot of fun. All right, all right, all right. Um, let's uh, let's start with Dylan. I put. I woke up in a morgue once. I'm a founding member of a tribe called Quest. And one time, I did a full 360 on a swing while standing up. Trumador, what what'd you write? I was circumcised twice. <laughs> I have the world's largest private collection of celebrity hair. <laughs> and I was most recently Killian Murphy's body double for all the sex scenes in Oppenheimer. <laughs> Clearly, this is just some sort of big throbbing joke to you. <laughs> throbbing. Oh, grow up. <laughs> Tomorrow, we're honored to have Flora Sun as our featured guest of the week. We also have music from <laughs> Milk Street, <laughs> Kid Terror, <laughs> Hike the Peak, <laughs> King of Cups, Sky Caught Fire, <laughs> Teen Mortgage, <laughs> Moral Less Right, <laughs> Pushing Veronica, <laughs> and Trading Tombstones. <laughs> And that's all happening tomorrow, Wednesday, July 19th at 7 p.m. Eastern, live on Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash Punky's Mixtape. Hey, Punky, look what I drew. <laughs> oh. That's it. That's it. I, I give up. I give up. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. No way. No way. Papers. We got a hell of an episode for you tonight. Oh, but before we get through any of that, HR says that I have to bring out the next two people. 
Nick Papers, please make some noise. Dylan Wilby and Trumanon! How we doing? Oh, it's been a week. It's been a week. I think that... It's true. That is absolutely true. I think that the, the heat's been getting to us a little bit. It does. There we go. Oh, man. But, I mean, in the, in the time that we spent apart, uh, myself and uh, Metalhead, we went and saw uh, Midnight Possession and Alliance and Serling last Friday, but on a hell of a show. That was a lot of fun. And uh, on Monday, I went and saw the band Cake. Yeah, and that was... Um, I didn't. I did go out to eat with um, good friends and family. Our moderator was there, good old uh, Sergeant Bluntman, my partner, Sergeant Bluntman's mom. Uh, that would be uh, Mrs. Sergeant Bluntman. Uh, Ms. Uh, no, actually, uh, we went to the Great Lost Bear, not to be confused with the bear. Uh, definitely a really good restaurant in Portland, Maine. Uh, great pub food, awesome beers. It's a great time. So what do we want to eat first there? Have a great dinner. Uh, shout out to uh, the friends and fam that went out with. That was a good time. Uh, what have y'all been up to this week? I'm hearing myself playback, by the way. Mm -hmm. It's not It's not you guys. I'm hearing myself from whatever is here. I think I might have to do... Oh, you're having some audio issues over on your end? You doing good? Hey. Cheers, make tapers. Happy Wednesday. You guys didn't do anything eventful over the week? <laughs> can't hit can't hear co-host keep talking. No, you're not. I can't, but I can try. Uh, Whoa! Can you hear me? Yeah. Well, it's all right. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Yeah, we're back, baby! We got a lot of audio here. So, um... Happens when you run it live. That's right. Mixtapers, make some noise for my co-host. We need Willoughby to get some. We need to Trimador. get some real professionals on this show. Or it has no appeal, man. We well, like we, uh, we've been we've been rolling. do up for a tune up for a little bit, um, <laughs> and we're going to be taking a mid season break, um, August 9th and sixteenth, so that we can address check. some of these technical issues that we've been having. Um, so that's our first um, first announcement of the night. First announcement oh. of the night. Yeah, that's the yeah, first Yeah, I love one. announcements. Yeah. We're kind of used to being on break. Girls are always wanting to take breaks from me. Girls are always wanting to take breaks from you, Troubadour? Should they ever hear back from Yeah. We, we should take a break. Oh, and then man. I break their knees. Oh. Is it like one of <laughs> What? They break your heart till you break their knees. That's not fair. You can't do that. Oh, it's an even man. trade. One for one. You know. Are these people real? Are they in here? Are they masks? You know. Um, unfortunately, HR has some more. Yeah, I keep hearing myself. 
Are you, are you mixtapers, you're hearing double with me. I'll check, hold on. It's like it's intermediate, it's interesting. Now we're having some great issues here tonight, mixtapers. But HR thinks that we need some other issues that we need to deal with. So they have another activity for us to do, unfortunately, oh guys. My God. Hey, if we want to keep doing the show. When is it supposed to be my safe space? I don't want to do work. Look, unfortunately, the environment here has been less than satisfactory. There's been some anonymous complaints. So we got to go through these exercises as a team so we don't just pinpoint anybody as an individual. Exercises, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, no echo, no DP. So, no DP on this show. None. This is, uh, this is an exercise that is called Common Factors. And it's meant for us to get to know each other a little bit So, um, we get, you guys got the questionnaire in your uh, mixtape mailbox there. So just open up the file um, and we're going to take a second and we're just going to fill it out honestly this time, boys. All right. HR is on to your little funny business. All right. And I got my ass chewed out by fucking Brenda and I'm all set with that. So fill it out honestly this time. Okay. So this time I want to put on, I want to put on some like, some like relaxing music. I think this will help. What's the point? This sucks. We have to legally do this. Yeah, check this out. See, it's nice and relaxing. So just take a second and uh, fill out the, the question there. I'm gonna do it really quick. Start off. Let's start off. Yeah, here we go. Some chill summer vibes to start off the show, mixed tapers. All right. Uh, going down the board. Um, pet odor. Dylan, do you want any pets? Uh, I have Funko Pops. Okay. Um, any living pets? No. No. 
Okay. Now, Trumador, do you have any pets? I wrote, Dylan is like a pet and I hate him. If I could put him down, I would because he's old and sick and he's worn out to welcome. You're spo- That's, he's, he's not a pet. Oh my god. He's like a pet. He's like the hobbit pet. He's, he's not he's like a pet. pet. Oh my god. Well, I'm. I care what you say, I'm never wearing that collar. I have two cats, if anybody cares, and a dog. Jeez. I guess moving on. Uh, parents, yeah, still, uh, still got them. Still get them on. And, uh, my biological father. Dylan? So, what? Said, what did you ask me? It said parents. I just said I don't have pets. Why would I have a parrot? Troubadour, what'd you write? Oh my god. He said parents, you dummy. I have two very loving aunties that adore me. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. What are their names? I forget. These names. Huh. Interesting. What a great, what um, a great niece you are. Dylan, favorite band? I think I know this. Oh, Glenn Trio, I'm duh! Glenn Trio. Troubadour, what's your favorite band? I quite like a band called The Crescent Dog. The Crescent Dogs? They're kind of like a ska band. Cool. Nice. And they serve Crescent Dogs at their show. That's really cool, too, actually. Damn, that's awesome. Hey. I, see, look, we're looking at We're already learning cool stuff about each other. I don't know, man. Yeah. A band that serves not. food while they play? Crescent Dogs? I'm down with that. Um, do you guys want to know my favorite band? Do you, do you want to guess? What? Dylan, do you know what my favorite band is? The, the guy who wrote Cat Dog. No, my favorite band's Bad Religion. Really? Oh. Yeah. Oh. What's your least? Oh, I've heard of them before. Hey, least favorite band on three. One, two, three. Trapped. Truman and the Chip Boys. Come on, man. Truman, what did you say? Dylan's band. Oh, wow, guys. Dude, come on. This is supposed to be a safe space. That's your Dave, I don't like Troubadour and the Chip Boys. They're boring. All they say about are chips. I don't eat chips. Oh, come, come on, guys. man. Um, least favorite season. Ooh. Summer is mine. Season 9 of Scrubs. <laughs> That's not... I guess that wasn't specific. It's horrible! It's the worst thing Troubadour, ever made! What's your least favorite season? I, I can agree with that. That was not a great one. I was going to say the first couple seasons of Punky's mixtape where I wasn't on them. Oof. What am I? Uh, am I okay? If you notice a deduction in your paycheck, you'll know why. Uh, he gets a paycheck? Oh, shit. Um, moving on. Um, what's everybody put on a hot dog? My bun rips apart, so you know I always use bread glue! The flavorless paste to enhance your taste. Trimador, what do you use? Astro Lube. Astro Glide. Anyone even care at all? You wanna know what I put on my hot dog? Guys. Me. What do you what do you Syrup? No, I put onions, mustard. You guys are taking it seriously. Oh my god, it's driving me nuts. Favorite movie? Oh my Christ. Shrek, baby. I I didn't rewind it. Uh, that's a good choice. Troubadour, what's your favorite movie? I like I like Air Bud. I like it when they hit the dog. Jesus Christ. I don't know. When, did they hit, help, when did they hit the dog in that movie? Well, that the clown, he yanks him around real good. I get a good laugh out of that. You're a sick, sick man. My, my favorite movie is Wet Hot American Summer. That's not a surprise. Yeah. You won't shut up about that damn movie. It came out 30 years ago, man! You guys, you guys like cilantro? You guys like cilantro? Ever met him? Oh my 
fucking Christ. Uh, That's what I wrote any, too. Any, any of you guys twins by chance? Um, yeah, actually, I am the time traveling twin of Jack Black. Oh, come on. If you're not going to take this seriously, we're just, you know what? We're just gonna... twins, dude. Oh my God, that's not true. I am exactly that's not true. You are not. Look, Jack... I traveled 20 years into the future from Jack Black, so I am currently Jack Black in 2003. Of course. No. Check, no. Check the oh numbers. Man, it it no, adds I up. I will not check the numbers. Mix papers. If we work this out, you guys need to like us. Fuck you, HR. You don't have to blend the action. I destroyed mine in the womb with poison. Mix campers, let's start the show. We got a hell of a I think the worst thing is. How did you get poison in the womb? It wasn't me, let me tell you. I got womb smugglers. Mix campers, I really need a day off. I wish this was, I wish this was the type of job where I could call out, but I can't. Because it's called Punky's Mixtape. And then see what happens. What would oh, happen? See what, happens. what would happen if I took a week off and left you two alone with the show? Are you kidding me? I think me? it would be the there highest is, rated show of all time. I highly doubt that. You two can't even get through a, a fucking questionnaire without freaking making some little joke of it. Who Here wants I do a questionnaire? Was, I wrote the that's, questionnaire. That's still I wrote 2006, it. man. That's still I wrote 2006. it. I just wanted to get to know us better. Oh, my God, oh did you put it up on your MySpace too? That's real cute. You guys are ridiculous, mixtapers. I, I need. I, you know what I need? I fucking. I'll tell you what I need. I need a fucking sick day. Uh, Make oh. some noise! Oh fucking! First noise. track of the night. Kicking it off. Keith Morgan. <laughs> We'll go down the line. We'll say set the tone. Ready? It's got a set. Uh. Tomb tone. No, not the. Uh, oh my god. It's got a set the tone. The question never gets over. Night. We're doing this seriously now. Seriously. Oh. Oh, mixtapers coming in from Washington, D.C. No stranger to mixtape. 
Teen Mortgage has been staying busy, kicking ass, doing a slew of shows out on a little mini run right now. Uh, but definitely, they got a show tonight, actually. You're going to do me a favor. You're going to go down below and you got to support that underground. So it's yes, real simple. you do. Click the, click the link. Just, just click that little itty bitty link down there and it's going to take you everywhere you need to go because it's a link tree. And it's it's real nice Ooh. like that. It's got all the links all combined. So go show oh, some love. It's, for like, our it's good like a friends. tree. With branches that are the links. That's correct. That is core. I get the name now. I understand it. I've been wondering what they meant by that. You know what I mean? You finally figured cool. it out. Yeah, I was like, cheers. I was kind of, I was kind of there, you know. I'll drink to that. After that fucking ramped up track, holy shit! First of all, um, <laughs> can we say all the homages in there? Unbelievable. I mean, that that's amazing. That was you got amazing. Monday Night Raw. You got you got James Silent Bob. Oh man, so good! Oh. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I like some that that little background. Little what was that, Tom? Use what? Trimador? How did you get all those people to be in the video? Oh, they were playing different uh, characters, my dude. What they were playing them? Yeah, yeah. That's good acting. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't even tell. Wow. All right. Okay. Uh, hey, I guess that's kind of correct. You know. You know, I mean, movie it's... magic these days, that's mostly correct, Dylan. What do you think? I, it, might, it, might be, it might be a little slightly wrong. It could be a little less right. You know yeah, I mean? it's, less, like it it's less right than it is. Than it is. Than it is. Than it is not less right. Not less right, but <laughs> speeding it along, it's... Killing the bit, it's the it's California. <laughs> Easy there, wizard. <laughs> you broke me. You broke me. <laughs> Our next artist coming in out of bastardized segue. Oh my god. More or less right with their song Pirate Radio. Like track. I'm all fucking flustered. Uh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for tuning in the Plucky's Big Kid. Someday we'll get it right, baby.
Woo! Brand new to the mixtape. Welcome to the family. Oh man, that was great. All work and no play makes Trumador a dull boy. Oh man, as of yesterday, it marks the last day of recording vocals for their brand new album. Oh! Yes, the tracks from now are being thrown up and singing mastering. So we can expect some. By helicopter? You got private helicopter. Yeah. You were more or less right on that one. More or less right. Oh, man. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, oh, oh, I get it now. Yeah, you get it. <laughs> uh, first of all, great band name. Uh, oh, I love it. I love it. I love clever. it. Clever. Silly, clever, fun. It's very good. Great. Very good. Um, absolutely love this band. Uh, they I got the Sk jams to back it up. Dude, they got the jams. They got the riffs. Dude, they're, they're fucking drummer. It's like totally Ooh. reminds me of Stinky yeah. from No Effects. It's a fucking machine. Ooh. I don't know who Monsters. is I don't know who is the individual behind the drums, but whoever it is, holy shit, hold on to them because a good drummer like that, man, that's few and far between. Few and far between. Um, Rest for days, unbelievable vocals. I love the little transitions. This band is toit. It's toit as fuck mixtapers holy yeah, shit yeah yeah more or less right links down below in the chat support the underground Quit. Uh, dude this episode is full throttle so if we make a, a couple little mistakes um who hasn't driven over 200 miles per hour and gone over the lane a little bit all right so when you're driving as fast as we are you're bound you're you're bound to hit a couple of pedestrians uh you know it happens from time to time you know you just gotta keep moving on you just gotta keep moving on because sometimes sometimes man you just gotta forget about them am i right trumador you just gotta keep moving Fuck them. you gotta look towards the future because you know what will happen one day? You know what happens if you don't forget about them? What happens, Trumador? They forget about you. They forget about you. Feels like I've known you for all my life. Can I do this Pushing Veronica mixtapers. Brand new to the show. Pushed her in front of a train. Hit her. <laughs> Theoretically, allegedly. But I'll never forget you. <laughs> oh, the thing is the thing. There you go. Oh, wait a minute. Water. 
eight dollars in drink. The budget for this video is insane. Oh, eight dollars. Oh, she pushed it up. She pushed it up. Sabers, we hope that you're enjoying the show tonight. If you're brand new here, please do us a favor. Feel free to uh, <laughs> like, follow, subscribe on all our pages. Our link tree is down below in the chat. We will stop and wait a second as we do so. We'll, get, we'll take a moment to do it. And that's plenty of time. Perfect. Hopefully right. you took the time to do so. Oh, man. I am sweating so bad, mixtapers. Let's see how hot it is right now. It's oh, Germador, somebody's at the door. I think our guest is here. Okay, I'm gonna get it. I think it's Sean and Brennan of Florissant. They should be here anytime. Wow, they really like oh, that button. Germador, let them in. They keep hitting the button. We hear <gasps> you. We hear you. Oh my god, Jesus, what a bunch of Oh my Oh my god Oh mixtapers. We'll be we'll be right back. Does your tongue ever feel too big for your mouth? Constantly. <laughs> ah I mean look at that. I'm like I'm like kiss, you know? It just feels now you too big. like I can't quit thinking about it now, so I can touch my nose with the tip of my tongue. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to start from the top here. Welcome to Punky's <laughs> Mixtape. It is very nice to meet both of you. My name is Trimador, and I am Punky's personal assistant and potential best friend. I just need to get some basic information from you. A little housekeeping. First Perfect. things first. Let's go ahead and get the name of your band, please. Yeah, we're, uh, we're Fluorescent. Fluorescent. And you guys are from Colorado Springs, is that correct? That's right. Colorado Springs. That's right. Excellent. We are super excited to have you on. Likewise. And then, yeah. and who am I speaking with now? We have Brennan and Sean. I'm Brennan. This, this guy's Sean. Hey. Yeah, Sean, yeah. Sean, I didn't see you on the um, the page there on your uh, on your bio. Looks oh, like I'm, we were I'm, I'm, I'm bass well, player. Oh, that's what I was going to ask. Which one of you is named bass player? Yeah, right, it's, it's the man. It is, it's the running gag. Uh, so, were you named that at birth, or was it changed later to bass player? Yeah, uh, named at birth, uh, born from the ashes of uh, a burning bass factory. So you know, is that short for many like anything? Is it like short for basin or? Um, yeah, uh, Bastifer. Bastifer. That's a rock. great name. That's beautiful. Right. Your, yeah, your I've got great names. So. <laughs> and what instrument do you play in the band? Um, the name's in the game. I'm the bass player. Yeah. And, oh, uh, it is. So you do play bit. the bass. Yeah, Ayo. Ayo. <laughs> Funny how that works. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it says in your bio that, mm -hmm. quote, Every member of the band individually brings something different. That being said, 
if this were a potluck or a BBQ, what could I expect for you to bring to the table? Mm, that's a great question. Brennan? Oh, meats and good jams? Meats and good jams. Meats and good jams. Yeah. Like, nice. um, like what kind of jam? Like a strawberry or like a... Uh, strawberry peach apricot's pretty good. Oh, peach uh, apricot. Pretty, pretty Ooh. A bit of a jam connoisseur. Uh, blackberry jam's always good. Heck that yeah. is great. I, that for is me, great. I would bring my homemade salsa. I'm I'm uh, I'm a salsa guy. I'm, I make a fabulous mango pico and homemade fried chips. Very good. Can't uh, attest to it, dude. And I, you know, I just I don't like spending a whole lot of money. I'm a bass player, so. Uh, so yeah, that's, bases uh, are known to be frugal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You that's, see, that's why they never change the strings. Dude, check out my rig. <laughs> no, that's that's not true. But that's not true. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Um, out of all the members of your uh, of your group, which one do you think looks the most like Dave Grohl? That's a good question. Uh, I'm too blonde to pull it off. I think. Uh, I have to see with longer hair. Uh, I, I got to say, Brian is our guitar player, and he is Dave Grohl's doppelganger. Yeah. We get that He all does the look time. like Dave Grohl. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like the bastard son of Dave Grohl. <laughs> <laughs> We're going with that. Uh, it's Dave Grohl's son. Uh, we we almost called our band Nirvana 2, but... Did you? Or, do you or, think Do you think it'd be possible to get like a DNA sample for me? Dude. We'll, uh, we could sneak one. Right, yeah. yeah we'll probably pluck that would hands. be wonderful. Yeah, we could get a yeah. paternity test going, get it go on the there Maury show or something. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you want to get some saliva, um, maybe a pubic hair, uh, yeah. some some feces would be nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a little blood and semen mixed together. Blood. <laughs> yeah. blood. If you can get just draw straight blood, that'd be wonderful. Yeah. Um, just anything like that. Yeah. When did you first notice that he looked like him? I never noticed until you guys just pointed out. I was like, now I'm starting to think about it, man. Maybe he does look like that. <laughs> so on our, I think one of our concerts, a friend of mine came to, up to us and he's like, dude, your buddy's Dave Grohl, isn't he? And I was like, oh, it never really occurred to me either <laughs> until that moment. So, <laughs> Have the Foo Fighter ever, have they ever come through town? I'm sure they've been nearby to denver but i don't pay attention yeah to I've, I've never really to her really i've really never never really it's probably to visit his son yeah <laughs> secretively yeah and he's holding out man we should get better studio time if he's you know dave Rose, a legitimate child right how old how old is brian 34 34 i think yeah. i think we're the same age I'm yeah 34. yeah yeah he's gonna look at his lady like no like, oh, hold on man <laughs> right Whoops. That's why you show up to the interview. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think we have everything we need here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, send you boys in. Sweet. Heck yeah. You're a doll, Trumador. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Likewise. Likewise, man. Trumador, we don't have money for DNA tests. I don't, I don't know what you're thinking. He's obviously not a bass player. Well, I, yeah, I just... and like, first of all, I'm sure if he is the bastard son of Dave Grohl, I'm sure he doesn't want that publicized. It's, you know, it's probably as embarrassing to, to his parents. He needs to know. <laughs> Even though. That's not your place to decide. Trimador. Dave Grohl needs to take responsibility for what he's done on this earth. Yeah. Trying to stand he up. needs to it answer. Will. Even though it looks like Nirvana had their last tour through Denver 34 years ago exactly. Oh! I don't, I, I don't want to make any allegations, <laughs> but it's a weird coincidence that Trumador brought up. I didn't say it, Trumador did. Yeah. They can get his blood, Punky. They can get his blood. Is, it, is this Maury's mixtape? I thought this was Punky's mixtape. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is getting you wild. Want that yeah, I don't know if well, Brian wants it. this, you know? I mean, he, he's probably figuring out it's going to take a little bit of time to accept, but he's going to be able to learn how to fly. All right. <laughs> he's got, he's got, he's got to figure out how to use a monkey wrench. I think All right. Out who his he's hero is. To save us right now. He's got so. to figure out who his he's hero is. is. Yeah. I mean, yeah. this is a lot he's to been, take He's in. been looking for his dad ever long. Dude. <laughs> <sighs> Man. I love you guys. Now you got, now you guys can get a blood sample. I'm sure. I mean, one of us can hold him down and 
real quick in and out. Hmm. Go. Okay. Cool. Allegedly. 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 Yeah, Theoretically. No, there, now, uh, mixtapers, uh, we're going to be back a little bit later on in the episode with Florison, and we're definitely not devising a plan in order to sneak Brian's blood from him. We'll be right back. No, we're going to no. get his punky. No, what? No. 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 You, you can't. You can't. <laughs> You can't yeah. it on it's, Twitch. It's that can't. Get it. Oh my We're gonna god! Get it. Damn it, you can't do that. That's gross. You can't. What are you gonna say next? You're gonna say. That's gross. You can't say that on the internet. You can't say that anywhere on the internet. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. We'll be right back, mixtapers, with more floor sun. Terminator, go to fucking HR, dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Standing by right there. You can't say those things on the internet. Oh my goodness, we're gonna get so much trouble. Gonna so Everyone, much. give it up for me. Give it up for Troubadour, Nick This might be his last episode before suspension. Oh, really? Yes, Troubadour! Woohoo! Yeah! Well, if you keep Woo! saying dirty things like that. Jeez Louise. Oh, you can keep saying dirty things like you just said. I like that, Punky. That was hot. Oh. Thanks. You guys can't censor me. Oh, I he can't, but did. Twitch can. <laughs> Mixtapers, uh, as you know, we've been holding on to uh, a big announcement for a little while now. I don't think it's finally time to help me let the cat out of the bag. We're doing it now? Yeah, the cat. The cat, let it the out. The actual, like, let it out. Don't, don't let the cat out. I'm let scared. Let it out. Let the cat out. Let the cats, let all the cats out right now. Um, mixtapers, we're gonna we'll first the cats out. start off with a couple of small announcements before we come out with the big one. So the first one, actually, is with Dylan. Dylan, what do you got? Announcement number one. Huh. Uh, let's see if I can remember. Oh, yeah! If you notice my shirt, you'll see that it says Second Suitor, who you may remember from being on Punky's Mixtape last year. Well, Second Suitor this Sunday in Elmira, New York, will be open for the one and only Weedus. That's right. Yes, that's right, the king of the teenage dirtbags, baby. I'm just a teenage so, dirtbag, baby. So if you're anywhere in the Northeast and you feel like driving to see Weedus, you know, the, the perk of getting to see Weedus is they're, they, get the, they get the headline four second suitor. How crazy is that? That's How crazy is their headline four? Isn't that a second, second suitor? At the L. Yeah. Elmira, New York. A week. This Sunday, that's July a, 23rd. That's a Weenus. That's a Weenus. Not a Weenus. Oh, that's Weenus. It's a Weenus. Not a Weenus. So, Dylan will be out repping the mixtape this yes, Sunday, July 23rd. And some videos. Mixtapers, as you know, uh, we are a proud sponsor of the Army Festival, which is happening in Searsmont, Maine on August 4th and 5th. And we will be there filming on Friday, August 4th. You can catch myself and Robbie out there. So many amazing bands uh, being headlined uh, by Grammy award-winning Rustic Overtones, um, Sidified, Sea Peoples, um, I'm gonna butcher it, Merci Merci uh, Merciliago. The worst, Mouth Washington, Bait Bag, Sparksy, um, Dave Gutter, and the strongly worded uh, email. Um, the Rigo Metrics, um, Angela Ferre, um, Spa, Mile Bullen, Melk Street, um, Zimi Libre, Whitney, I'm butchering some of these names, Whitney Walker, HX Kitten, Sea Level, The Absurd, uh, Lana, Sakula, Nuclear Boots, Lake Over Fire, Hambone, Forest City and Friends, Vanadia Sound, Gun Parker, Snake Lips, The Bumbling Woohaws, and Late Night Vibes from Monks R212 and Graphics Melee! Woo! Oh, so many bands! Oh, but the mix Saturday, August 4th and 5th! Yeah, but the mixtape, mixtape is myself and Robbie will be there rapping. But mixtapers for our big, big announcement. This is huge for the first time ever. Thank you myself, Dylan, and Troubadour mixtapers. The three of us 
catch the three of us live in person, baby. Have a mixtape extravaganza. Myself, Dylan, Trumador, and our beautiful technical back support team of Sergeant Bluffman and the one and only Raw Beef himself. Mixtapers, we were we are going to be in Detroit, Rock City. Mixtape Rock City. This is for everyone. This is for everyone. We're gonna be there at the show. Everyone. Uh, Look at it's you, at Robbie. the sanctuary. Uh, some ham track it's one of the boroughs in Michigan and Detroit. Tickets are only 15 bucks. Shows at 6 p.m. I am so excited. The three of us. I'm live in person, baby. Cheers. Soak that in. Soak that in. Uh, post 9-11. Oh. Can't wait. Brian smells like a teenage dirtbag. Brian smells like Dave Girl's bastard son. What's and finally, mixtapers, the biggest announcement yet of them all for tonight. Punky's mixtape has officially sponsored with American Online. If you sign up now, you'll get 250 free hours. Three hours of internet. Now, I know many of you have been thinking, hey, I could probably do getting a whole bunch more done right now, but I'm all out of internet. Well, wish no more, my friends. We've done some serious investing, and I have now sold my third of the company in shares in this partnership. Mixtapers. American Online now owns one third of the production. Two hundred and fifty hours, mixtapers. Three, just by just by getting a subscription to the mixtape. Um, startup disc not included. Uh, mixtapers. Whew. We got a we got a lot of show left. I wanna I wanna keep the party going, man, dude. I this this episode I am sweating bullets, uh, dude. I am okay, feeling it's it. It's okay. You're you are pushing through hard, dude. I, honestly, you are, you are a strong person. You know? Honestly, um, I feel like I've just climbed the mountain right now. Yeah. That's I'm, dude. I'm feeling invigorated. I feel confident. I feel like we might be. Slowly reaching the peak of mixtape oh, mountain. Do you know what yes. it takes to reach the top of a mountain? You gotta you gotta work hard. It takes perseverance, dedication, ambition, and you know what the biggest thing, most of all, you gotta do the work. Which means mixtapers, you've got to you gotta hike the peak, baby. You gotta be oh. resilient. Oh.
it'd be like that, like, four years strong, wonder years kind of vibe, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Baby F. Yeah. That's amazing. had a lot of tracks up but i gotta say resilience dude that really blows me away they got a couple of other new singles which we might uh might i was gonna mention them but i think i might just want to hold on to them so we can circle back later on uh, <laughs> a little bit more in the season all about circles this holy season. shit because holy shit dude unbelievable new shit coming from them wow i would have the people I got so swept back up. down and fucking hike it again Dude, I got so swept up, I forgot to drop their link tree down below in the chat. But please, mixtapers, go support our dear friends coming in from the UK. Sheffield, hey, UK. I almost said Sunderland. Sheffield. <laughs> Sheffield. Well, Sheffield, United Kingdom mixtapers. Oh, man. Oh, man. man what Sorry, a... they still got me. They got me all mixed up, man. I I... I'm, like, questioning, like, everything right now. Like, everything's all fun. Or not, uh, we're, twisted around. You you doing good? You, you're having like an existential crisis over there. Oh my god. What's up, dude? My reality is just fucked. That song just. What's up with your reality? What do you twisted up? You you got a, you got a twisted reality. My reality is kid most, most certainly twisted. Kid, my, my reality is certainly twisted. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what my nickname is for Dylan behind the scenes. Hey Dylan. Dip shit. Hey, no. Dip shit? What's the other nickname oh. I call you when you're acting like this? Oh, you call me a kid terror. That's what I am. You little terror kid. Am I at the far side? Is that what we're now? I know it's in the way. We've got the head and gone. They're always in the gun. It's no one's better at. It's not been quite alive. I'm like you got it gone. It's only you can see. Yes. I quit the shot, go. <laughs> for most of the songs on that album are out now so make sure you go and check that out break some shit in your living room because it's certain to happen when you're blasting kid terror holy hell holy Whew. hell Whew. dude i gotta tell you some of the i gotta say some of the bands that we get obviously they blow me away when i gotta say dude time and time again certain areas have proven themselves over the years here on the mixtape and australia is no 
fucking sludge yes. in the pump yes. scene. Holy coming shit. Coming right out of Adelaide, yeah. South Australia. Yeah, coming in. Yeah. Adelaide, dude. Um, yeah, I know. Australia's got some banging music. Dude, banging, banging bands coming in from some of these smaller cities, some of these smaller towns that you just might not have heard of. But seriously, mixtapers, if you're looking for some new, unbelievable punk bands they got this great bands like kid terror that have this like really old school hardcore vibe which i fucking love oh love it's like fucking boots on the ground circle up fucking gang vocals let's go i love it but (laughs) also (laughs) they got some great new school stuff as well some great pop punk bands some killer basically if you're looking for new tunes go check out australia and australia's got some good stuff and sweden and sweden stand by australia and sweden yeah straight up oh man can you believe it? We're all getting together. Me, I can't. I can't. Dude, me and the boys, live, in person. Uh, I'm so excited. We got literally the whole crew, the behind-the-scenes tech crew, camera crew, uh, the folks that help keep the mixtape moving. I'm so excited. Uh, so excited to go hang out with CNX Tuesday. We're going to be filming all night, but we are filming all of CNX Tuesday for a special upcoming release. It's going to be a multi-camera shoot. going to be released by, like, the end of the year. Give us, give us time. Punk. This is a big thing. I got, I got us walkie-talkies so me and you can be in direct communication the whole time while we're together. Oh, dude, I love walkie-talkies. Have you picked up code? Do I, do I get one? Um, You know, I didn't buy a third one. I mean, it, it it came with a third one, but I figured we could let someone else have that one. Like, like we'll leave it you at, the, me like, at the room. You made me like Rob or Andrew. I mean, it is. I don't want to talk like, to him. Yeah, I don't want to talk to him. Rob or Sarge. I'm, so. We don't really need to be in direct communication with you the whole time. Yeah, that's because that's I actually know what I'm doing, right, Trevor? It's more uh, of just me and a punk, like a me and punky thing, really. Yeah. Codependency is a bad thing, man. Hey, by the way, I really like your hat, Trevor. Ah, uh, thank you. Here we go. My hair yeah. was fucked. Hey, honestly, it's by a, what? <laughs> it's a good look. It's uh, it's a solid look. Hey, uh. Truey? Mm. Oh, oh, shit. Dylan, Dylan, what are you doing? Dylan? Just say Troubadour's favorite. Uh, raspberries. Troubadour, try not to freak out. Freak out. Oh, I don't feel so good. You're supposed to. You're supposed to introduce the featured guest, Dylan. Why are you doing this? You know he hates raspberries. You know he hates raspberries. Tonight, the featured guest. Oh, don't don't say it all pukey. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, man. Get you. Get you. No. Oh my God. Mixtapers, it's our honor to introduce our featured guest of the week. We sit down. Are you good? You want to try? We sit down with Sean. Oh my. No. We sit down with Sean and Brennan of the Colorado based band Florissant. Mixtapers, (laughs) make some noise. Yeah, Florissant. Let's go. And welcome back, Mixtapers. I, as always, am your host, Hunky Bruiser. This guy, who's this one? What's your name again? Uh, it's Dylan Willoughby. Hi, how oh, you doing? Hello. Dylan Willoughby, the altitude tonight is getting to me. Um, Mixtapers, we're, we're certainly a mile high tonight because we're honored to have our featured guest coming in from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Mixtapers, make some noise. It's Florissant! Yeah. What's up? What's up? Oh man, thanks for hanging out. We got yeah, Sean. Right. We got Brennan. Oh what? man. Yep. Hope you're uh hope you're doing well. Doing great. Yep, doing good. Got no complaints. Yeah. Life is good. It's, uh, mix, mix it's a good night. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a good night. Got some great bands so far, and uh, we're excited to do a deep dive on y'all. But uh mm-hmm. For mixtapers that may not be familiar, uh, could you introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about the band? Uh, yeah, I'm Brendan Edwards. I play guitar in Florissant. Yeah, and I'm Sean Stennett. I'm the bass player. Yep, yep. And, uh, oh, I sing a little bit, too. Yeah, sings a lot of it. 
I sing yeah, a lot of it now. Lot yeah. of singing. I kind of forget that sometimes. We're just four dudes who like to write good, tasty jams and see where they take us and, uh, yeah, you know, try and make art and music and yeah, all that fun stuff. Kind of a broad array of, you know, pop punk, emo, post hardcore, kind of a grab bag of stuff. And we just are passionate about music and tear it up as much as we can. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You absolutely do tear it up, and I think that's what uh, caught my attention uh, right off is when I uh, first heard about you. Like I said, we, uh, we're we all in the groups, you know, we're checking things out, and uh, Colorado is, uh, love absolutely love Colorado, so we're always trying to post in uh, different Colorado groups as much as we can, and I think that's how we crossed paths uh, last yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think so, yeah. There's a lot, of, I think, a lot of talented people out here. It's a good spot. It's a good spot to be in. Yeah. Um, now you've been doing this since I think you put out your first track just what last year? Uh, eighteen months ago, uh, yeah, a year and a half ago, maybe somewhere around there. About a year and a half ago, yeah, and put out a first release about a year ish ago in April of twenty twenty two. I believe is the day that was what old friends, right? Um, um, Emerald Eyes was, was that the first. first? Emerald yeah. Eyes. Yeah. Mm. Fucking Trumador. <laughs> oh, now you're he's, now. He's, yeah. too, he's too focused on paternity tests to get his notes <laughs> yeah. right. Right. He's, he's supposed to use Google. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. His drive, these drive notes are all messed up. Jeez Louise. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been uh, you've been going strong for uh, the, like I said, the last like 18 months. Yeah, how, cool. was, uh, how was the reception first coming out? Uh, I think pretty good. You yeah. know, I think when you're starting stuff first starting out, it's always kind of a crawl trying to build an audience. But anytime we got in front of people and the feedback we get online, it's overwhelmingly positive and it's it's cool to see, you know, it's like, okay, I'm glad you guys care because we really try hard to, you know, put ourselves into it and everybody I think, you know, you want to share it. You want people to connect with them and I know I've got artists that connected with me, it changed my life. So if you get that chance, that'd be great. Yeah, it, we're we're getting good traction. We're getting good uh, exposure on social media. You know, it's we've got to build it as we go, and uh, we're just doing our best, and uh, it's going pretty well. It's a lot of fun. So that's you know, yeah. we're we're in our thirties. Uh, you know, obviously it's like it's, it's it's not our main gig, but fucking we we love doing it. So yeah, you know, yeah. Well, that's the that's the most important thing. You know, it's yeah. always it's always passion first. And I think that is absolutely loud and clear in everything that you do. Um, you, 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 bl no, you, you blend genres very well yeah. of uh, the old school emo meets post hardcore vibes right there, um, while still kind of uh, sounding your own. So that that in itself is why I wanted to get you on the show. And I was like, man, the fucking mixtapers will really, really dig what y'all are doing. Uh, because I think that what you're doing absolutely needs to be like shouted a little bit louder. Because I fucking love uh, you guys. Thanks, um, this us old heads, all of us that are in our thirties, that uh, those sort of uh, post hardcore vibes. That's uh, one of my favorite. One of my favorites right there. Yeah, but you, you guys kind of a you, yeah, Brennan. What was uh, some of the table. Oh, Go ahead. Brennan's the the hardcore guy, and like he's he's got the heavy kind of tasty licks, and yeah. Um, dude, but we all love like when we hit the heavy stuff. It's like it's fun. Yeah. Uh, we we have a we have a new kind of thing that's a goof on a on a bagel bites song that we did like a post hardcore thrashy kind of thing to it. The, the it, breakdown's it, like a slam metal breakdown. Like it's it's pretty fuck it's pretty filthy. It's, it's dirty. But for a bagel bites jingle? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, like the old like yeah. early 2000s bagel bites jingle. <laughs> Nothing yeah. says slam metal like fucking bagel bites. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. Like, take me right. back to middle school and yeah. just let me eat those things or take me back to last week even, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's easily the heaviest breakdown we've got so far. <laughs> oh. And it's for bagel bites. I love it. Right. I love yeah. it. They, we got, they we got to do it live their next commercial. Commercial. last time we played, and it, it it was good. It felt good. Yeah. I was like, oh, it's so heavy. Yeah, so I thought I'd <laughs> wet you guys' beak with a little preview of, of what's to come from us uh, down the pipeline here. And uh, it's an exclusive mix tapers, so yeah. that's pretty Oh, good. damn. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm honestly excited about that because the most important thing out of all of this is that when pizza is on a bagel, <laughs> you I can eat pizza anytime. 
<laughs> you, yeah. could eat, you could eat pizza anytime. Yeah. Is that the breakdown? Fuck Wet that. pizza! There's <laughs> <laughs> on a bagel! <laughs> <laughs> you can eat pizza and nature! Yep, yep, exactly. <laughs> oh man, that's it. That's it right there. That's it. What else do you need? I mean, that, that's it. Uh, so, maybe, maybe hot pockets. I think I think this might be a lucrative uh, lucrative step people, forward because yeah. there's not a lot of this type of jingles in the market, and yeah. I think that honestly, out with the old and in with the new. If you're am I right? So like, yeah, how fucking stoked would you be sitting there? It's Thursday night. You might have eaten an edible or six. You're flipping through the channels. And then all of a sudden, this fucking goddamn Bagel Bites commercial comes on and it kicks your fucking teeth out with yep. it. Okay. I would be blown away. You have Eric Wareheim direct it. <laughs> yeah, you get you get the Wareheim touch on it. Uh, you have him direct the Bagel Bites commercial. I mean, he's done like Old Spice commercial. He directs music videos. Combine both of them into jingle music together. videos. Yep. Um, I think you're onto something here. I think yep. you're really onto right. something. Yeah, you're already slaying it at the cover game. So the jingle game Thank is you. clearly <laughs> the logical next move. Yeah, right, dude, <laughs> right. next move. All the bases, you know what I mean? Right, right. Just hit all those demographics, <laughs> and uh, you know we're we're tapping into that that late, uh, mid late thirties market. So yep. everybody remembers bagel bites and from childhood. So. Need that sweet sweet Totino's money. Come yeah, on, break right. Us off. Yeah. Yeah. Are you Totino's listening? Fortune. Hey. <laughs> Dude, imagine, imagine a tour being sponsored by like Bagel Bites, Capri Sun, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. and lunch somehow lunch for, lunch for lunch. a limited, oh dude, a Lunchables, a limited <laughs> Dunkaroos, Dunkaroos, yeah, dunk dunk yeah Dunkaroos, it's a Dunkaroos slam fest, <laughs> yeah. you know, you have, you have nothing but slam, beat down, grind, like yeah. power violence bands, power, and so, <laughs> and it's Dunkaroos, that makes sense, That's you yeah. know, that is, so, you know, just want to start cross Fuck marketing. Yeah, dude, exactly. You here. want the Dunkaroo? You want the? Uh, d we got to think of a good name for it, though. You know, <laughs> it's gonna the festival's gonna have a really good name. But yeah. obviously, y'all are gonna headline the Double you, Dipper Dunkaroo Extravaganza. <laughs> there you go. You know, that's a, <laughs> it's too long. Too many D's. We'll find it. We'll find it. it. Yeah, we'll yeah. find it. We'll that's, find it. My my job is to give the bad ideas to lead us to the good right. Ones. That's, yeah. that's what I am. You know. It's like, oh, okay, he showed us what we don't That's want, so here's what we pick do. Up good ideas from the file. I think the big thing here is that we figure out a way uh, to get exclusively at the show only Ecto Cooler. Ooh. In show only. Yes. Ecto yes. Cooler. Oh, man. Bring it back out of the grave. Yes. I want that green, green, sweet tangerine yes. taste, baby. <laughs> dude, I love me some Ecto Cooler. Yeah. Um, yes, dude. Crushing that. Um, mixed tapers. Let's make that happen. Hashtag uh, Florissant needs Ecto Cooler. Um, but, you know, get in, get in on that jingle game. Yeah. Um, whatever, whatever fucking jingle slap that, like, fucking would, would be a good choice. Uh, oh, yeah. We'll definitely take suggestions down below in the chat mixtapers. Yeah, yeah. Love yeah, to, yeah like, send them over. Send them over to the band. They definitely want to know. We, um, we, got, we got it. Yeah, we got to have it. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, Tombstone Pizza. That's all mm. right. Mm. <laughs> oh, yo, Meow Mix. Meow Mix. Meow Mix. Meow Mix. Meow Mix. Yeah. Yeah. You want to do too? Yeah. It's a really nice, fast pace, man. Uh, oh, yeah. Yep. Get some oh, fold. Get, get some Folgers in there. The best part of waking Ooh. up. Yes, Dylan. Hey, there you go, bro. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All of these ideas, all of these companies right now, um, we're absolutely uh, we're willing to negotiate. Give us a call. Yeah. The numbers down below right now. We're in the doing chat. you a favor. Uh, we'll call we'll it live again. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> we'll make um, our wait by the phone. Yeah. Base rate is one million each. So. There you go. So yeah. So while we're while we're uh, dealing with all the phone calls that are about to come in right now, <laughs> so besides working on killer jingles, y'all, besides yeah. putting out awesome tracks, you also have some really great cover songs. So like I yeah. said, it was covers. It was the logical evolution from covers to jingle. But let's <laughs> let's 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 backtrack a little bit. Let's, let's all go right. back. We're getting excited. We're here. We are we're talking about the future, but boys, I want to talk about the past a little bit. 
I'm All talking right. about the past. So a uh, while back, you put out a phenomenal cover of Taking Back Sunday, Cute Without the Eat, yeah. uh, which absolutely love. Uh, what, that's... what inspired you to, uh, to put something out like that, but uh, to do a I, cover? Was all it... Just grew up listening to that. And I mean, I think all of us at one point probably played that song as, as, as younger versions of ourselves. Yeah. And I think we just decided just to do it, you know, it sounded cool. And we like, yeah. all right, cool. Let's record it and yeah. make a video, do all that good stuff. Yeah. One of our, one of my good friends, uh, he was in an old band that I was in. Uh, he told me that he kept on calling us taking back Saturday because <laughs> he, he gave him that vibe. And so, um, uh, and I, I remember one of our early on practices, we just, we just started playing that song and pretty much played it all the way through. And so we just kind of rehashed it and brought it back and recorded it. And it's, got it in quite a bit of traction on youtube we weren't really expecting that yeah. but you know like what do you what do you do you just roll with it you know so you yeah so is that obviously what led you to decide like you know what we are a one for one let's see if we can go two for two and uh drop the coheed uh cover a little while back as well we did, we did that one with like a fan vote we had like uh put up a poll for a few days and had them vote on four different cover songs that we would do and that's the one that won. You should have known. I, it would have been Coheed. You know, that yeah. song is wildly popular. Coheed wins every, every time, vote bro. online. Coheed if you ever wins, put, it's been proven online. You put up anything against yeah. Coheed and Cambria and they lose. That's extreme yeah. fact. Oh, yeah. it, it dwarfed every other uh, choice they had. Yeah, I, th and, I think it won by like 80%. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 And what, what, what else fans, you, they come out of everywhere and they just. What else yeah. did you have up there? Uh, Thrice, uh, Artist in the Ambulance. Um, free throw. Uh, I can't remember the name of the song. It's called Tongue Tied. Yeah, Tongue Tied, good song. Yeah, and uh, brand new. Um, the... quiet things that nobody ever knows. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, this is this is really funny. I fucking shit you not. I did not know the list of potential covers that was on there. Uh huh. Now, I was gonna ask you since I did see that the there was a fan vote for this. I was going to ask if Dylan and I could get a say <laughs> on what we would choose. Yeah. And yeah. And little did I know, you already fucking picked one of my choices. <laughs> oh, nice. Yes. Great and much. that was thrice. That was thrice oh, because nice. I, I, oh my God. I think there are not a lot of people that I think could hit that vocal range. But Bro, I that's... really, really think that you guys could fucking slay Artists in the Ambulance. Yeah. Dude. We've, I don't we've know this before, and uh, it does sound good. We just never like finished it all up and buttoned it up and recorded it or anything. Oh, but like a year ago, we'll, we'll, yeah, we will get to it. We got to do it now for Punky. I mean, yeah, oh, man. <laughs> Dude, do it, do it for Punky. That is Punky's vote right there. If I were to choose, yeah. I love that track. It gets me, it gets me going. Still, yeah. all these years later, Hell absolutely yeah. love them. Thrice man. Thrice so if it's Yep. All right. So good live. So, but saying, if I had a vote, if I had a vote on what I could pick for y'all to do a cover of, it would definitely be that. It would be Artists in the Ambulance. How yeah, Dylan. Water now. I mean, you know, yeah. peer pressure is a thing. That, that's how uh, we got <laughs> marijuana in Colorado. So, the old you would do it. The, the old, old you would do it. Yeah. 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 That's right. Right. It I just makes sense too because Brennan's a huge Thrice fan. Um, and it just matches, and uh, yeah, we've already got it in our pocket. Yeah. Uh, we got to get that drops or uh, that C tuning in there, and uh, get some kind of heavy and, and uh, get, a little, get a little heavy with it. Get a little heavy. Oh, I'm yeah. excited to see what you do to kind of make it your own and the little changes on it. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. Because yeah. that's one thing. But I but but I like about y'all is like yes, it's a great cover, but it still sounds like you. Yes. Um, so that's always kind of making it your own a little bit. So I think seeing what you do with Thrice would be fucking phenomenal. Yeah, we try to add like our own little, not like, we don't massively change like the structure of the songs, but uh, even little subtle nuances yeah. kind of like make it feel like your own when you're jamming, you know what I mean? Everybody's got their own little things they want to emphasize or whatever, or slightly alter guitar parts. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. Goeed, I just, we just rewrote part of the solo and like didn't play it exactly the same. The rest of it's kind of um, yeah, more or less where they're at. It was useful because we featured uh, <laughs> we featured some local talent too. Uh, this band called Get the Axe, 
Um, their, their singer, uh, Alex, uh, did a guest spot on it and freaking slayed it, dude. Yeah. I mean, he just took it and ran with it. And we're so grateful because his voice is so operatic and theatrical that it just, it just matched it perfectly. And we're all about community, you know, yeah. uh, punkies and our own local community. And so it was such a cool opportunity. Yeah. You should definitely check out, get the axe beer and the coat and stuff too. They're, they're, did the whole concept albums and they're they're oh, really good. Yeah. yeah it's cool yeah, killer dudes definitely writing it down yes. right now Add it to the nice notes. nice <laughs> now dylan if you could pick a song for them to do what would you pick I'm i mean curious. i mean you know i gotta say what i always gotta say i would love to hear you guys cover my favorite band alkaline trio Oh, oh he- nice. heavy, 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 heavy it up! You know, add that little, those little nuances that you guys do in there. I yeah. mean, Matt, Matt's got some great yells, so I would yeah. love to hear the way that you guys yell and scream like over something alkaline trio. I, yeah. I don't know if I have a specific song, maybe like, maybe like cringe or something. Or cringe is always one of my favorites. That's a, that's a good one. So I was listening yeah. to Private Eye the other day, and I was like, man, this would oh. be a song, some fun song to cover, man. It's just that would be a good really one. Sing oh, along. It's just a great song from the back, yeah. Really dry the guitars. I think you could really like take terrible, that too, and like you could take that. like Alkaline <laughs> yeah. Trio and really like like add your own. Like you could you could heavy that up easy in the way that he like he loves to repeat verses. You know, maybe like sing one and then scream one or something yeah. like that. He always yeah, throws awesome. in those little nuances. Yeah, but that would be that would be perfect. You guys, yeah, good choice. Awesome. We'll put that one on, on the list too. Right? I think yeah, we, we always talk about songs we'll cover, and like the list grows longer and longer, like oh. all the time. <laughs> We wouldn't do dead movies. We wouldn't take like older '90s songs and rewrite yeah. those hardcore songs. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So many. There's, there's, we're like, oh, we'll, we'll get around to them. We got, we got some time. <laughs> yeah, you said Dead know. Kennedys on there. I want, yeah, I want to cover a Dead Kennedy nice. song. It's a good homage right. to being a you know young punk and stuff. Dude, yeah, like wow. that old school punk. Like, uh, police truck would be fun to, yeah. to modernize. You know go, what I mean? Go, 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 oh. go. Yeah, <laughs> that guy's got a wild voice. That police dude. truck would be yeah. awesome. I. Uh, Years ago, I was in a grindcore band, and we did a grind cover of California Uber Alice. Oh, Ooh, yeah, that, yeah, like dude. super grindy and flashy. It was, yeah. uh, it was messy, but it was fun. It was yeah. fun, definitely. You know, but it was one of those things. I mean, that's uh, that's that's punk. It's the spirit behind it. You but know, was, you almost and... want to be a little messy cover covering it like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, keep it nice and filthy and stuff. Right. No, uh, absolutely. <laughs> Y'all been keeping it, besides keeping it uh, filthy with the covers, you've been keeping it obviously filthy with the fucking originals. You've got a couple of new tracks out. Yeah. You yep. uh, can't, can't shy past that. Maybe I was just saving the best for last. Yeah, <laughs> yeah actually, yeah. Um, and those are trickling out. Um, we have a new EP release coming out probably in the next month or so here. So, yep. um, yeah, those are a couple of tunes from that. Um, and it's going to be called I Carried the Ocean, and it'll be – That'll be the title track on it. And uh, so, yeah, new stuff to look forward yeah. to, too. We have physical CDs and all that good stuff. I mean, nobody uses CDs. It's kind of a vanity thing. Like, hey, look, we, it exists. Yeah, it's right. we do. It's a solid option. We do. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, honestly, send, send me a link because we get we get physical copies. Yeah, and I'd obviously copies. like to get some for our mixtape giveaways. I'm Ooh. sure... Uh, yep. Community would love to uh, get some physical. Mm-hmm. So get Dude. physical with Florissant. I'm yeah. I physical with Florissant. I would love. You know, to you get when you can hold something, you know what I mean, it's like this is a tangible <laughs> item. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I'm, I'm old school like that. I mean, I even got like vinyls and such behind me. We got yeah. Yeah. behind me. Yeah, I. I got a- it's the only vinyl I got near me right now. I got this one right here. Perfect. Oh, oh nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I it, match, it matches my shirt. Look at look at how Ooh, look hey, look hey, how the boys are aged. Uh, boys <laughs> have aged well. They, yeah, they really have. That's exactly how they look like. That's now. exactly. That looks Mark, Tom, and Travis. Oh yeah. Look, that's yeah. yeah. It's oh yeah. One, oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So you've got a uh, you got I carry I carried the ocean. That's a great fucking title, by the way. That's Thank you. Good. One First of all, uh, I wouldn't even imagine how one would carry an ocean. So right. you're already blow you're already blowing my mind a little bit right there. <laughs> so. it's, it's good name was just water metaphors. Yeah, we just well. usually go, play? we're playing I, water words. You know, whatever. Man. Yeah, whatever. Water water. Water yeah, anything involving water is better because water is <laughs> yeah. the greatest H2O. thing. H two O. Yes, yes. I know. Yes. Uh, I know which part of the alchemy index is your favorite part. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude, I I adore that entire thing so much it is a brilliant piece of music front to back it is it really is it really is mixed 
mixtapers, if you haven't done the amazing dive on Frice's The Alchemy Index, it will yeah. it'll mm-hmm. change you. It will. Um, yeah. it, is, it is truly, truly a remarkable body of work from a band. That's yeah, one yeah. thing that I like about them is a willingness to explore sounds. Yes. Yeah. And... And I think that's why I immediately connected them to you for my suggestion for a cover. Um, yeah. And I love that magical happenstance where things are just magically line up what are supposed to be in that beautiful moment where, oh, it was already an idea for, for you to do something like that for a Thrice cover. But I, but I see that. If I were to say Mix Tapers, uh, check out Florissant. If you're a fan of Thrice, you're absolutely going to love them. But you get, a, you get a little bit heavier than that. And... Yes. I think that even you could be as so bold as to like deep dive on some other like post hardcore, maybe like last album. Are you familiar with from a second story window? I haven't. I don't I, think I've listened to a lot of that. Oh man. Yeah, uh, the last two albums, Delanda and conversations, there are moments where your progressions and structures, the way that you create uh, the, these bodies throughout your work, kind of the heaviness and remind me of them. So you have like this, post hardcore heaviness that reminds me of like the early 2000 days with like the with like the evolution of thrice and i i don't think i could give you possibly a higher compliment because they're yeah. two of the uh, very formative yeah. bands for me massively yeah, formative bands that's so that's so kind i mean i that blows us away i yeah. think that's uh, can get a higher compliment than that i won't think yeah not at all i've yeah. idolized that band put them on a pedestal for a long time myself thrice oh. uh I've been feeling that way about y'all, and I, you know, yes. I just wanted to make my feelings be clear. I, you know, I try to be pretty, pretty yeah. honest with everybody, but wearing on a sleeve. But, but yeah, we wear, we wear our emotions here on the sleeve, and honestly, y'all blew me away from the first moment when I, when I heard you, and I'm really excited to hear the new album. I think the mixtapers are going to be excited to hear a bit of the new album. So you've got obviously that coming out. Uh, you working on any new videos or anything like that? You said? yeah, we've got two. There's four songs in total on this new EP and we're going to do two videos for the last two songs. Um, sometime after the release, we'll get to the actual videos. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're in the middle of writing, trying to write an LP. We've got a pretty massive pool of ideas and yeah, finished songs, partway finished songs, but we've got a, a lot to work with already. And that's kind of where our focus is right now is trying to piece together a full length. I know they're not everybody like short form media, but I, a full album is something I've, I've always wanted to do. You I'll know? always appreciate a full album, you know? Same. Yeah. From, yeah. From, yeah. The whole not... piece, you know? Right. It's kind of like what we were talking about with Thrice. It's it's a body of work. It's a fluid uh, building of material, and it's a whole journey in itself. So, and yeah. Each album kind of captures, like, the band, in, like a snapshot at that time, you know what I mean? And you can see yep. it, you know, every band, see how they kind of change and grow. And I, I've always liked that, you know, what you're feeling this year of writing is um it's cool it's yeah. cool to, Plus, to do i feel like a, i i feel like a full length also just has like many different like aspects of like art forms like not only do you have the music but you got the artwork and even just like the structure of like the song listing itself is exactly. is an art form itself so i always yeah. always a big fan of lps like yeah like, yeah like, yep. that's how i feel too it's like a whole cohesive unit you know what i mean it all works together and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I i really i really dig that i uh and I, I've got albums that have, I listened to my entire life that I still love. And, yeah, same. You know, to create something, maybe it'll connect with them that way. Like, man, this thing front to back is like, this is it for me right now. Right. Um, I think we're all exactly. old enough to remember l- l- looking through the lyric sheets oh, yeah. and yes. how much that yeah. matters. Yeah. Like, you know? Liner notes. That's yeah, the yeah, best. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I talk about it all the time. There's something about, you know, laying on your bedroom floor, you yeah. know, sitting there, headphones are a good, you know, good system. And reading along to the liner notes and connecting on that personal level yes. to yeah. the band. Exactly. Um, exactly. Something us old school heads, you know, uh, <laughs> before we had the internet and the accessibility of MP3s, that's really how we, we connected with the with the art that we imbibed at the time. Yeah. And I think that's important as, <clears throat> you know, we get, you know, further into this digital age and streaming and things like that. I think physical copies are important because I think in itself of uh, the album art, the liner notes, the 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 music itself and in itself like you said it's a body of work i mean mm-hmm. something like an album like we keep talking about like the alchemy index like that like is truly a, like a, a body of work it's a body of art in itself it and it to is. aspire to something like that 
in saying that it'd be nice if somebody were down the road would look back at us and remember us like that as exactly. we look back to the to the bands that formed uh that made us want to pick up a guitar or a bass or drums or start writing or start doing album art or any of the ways that people contribute to uh the music scene in general you know whatever it was that inspired yes. them to start yeah that exactly was, for, <clears throat> was was obviously so fries it seems like was that band for for you uh yeah, well, few, whatever big one uh, i'm sorry go ahead i was gonna say whatever ones were some of the ones that kind of got you really uh, excited so at the drive-in when i was yeah. Way young, I got the Acrobatic Tenement when I was like 14 years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, Omar Rodriguez Lopez's guitar playing like changed my perspective on the guitar right away. Yeah. Did yeah. And then the Mars Volta eventually like oh. changed my... The Lousy of the Comatorium of Francis Mew easily it's... changed me as an individual. They're amazing records. And I, I always liked like his out-of-the-box playing. It wasn't... None of it was conventional, you know, but it still at moments grooved in a conventional way. And it's the way they they weaved all that together was it, just brilliant. And then thrice with Alchemy, it's kind of the same way how it it all works together. You know what I mean? It's conventional when it needs to be, and also, you know, not it takes on its own life. Yeah. And yeah, I think for me, uh, I was a big pop punker growing up in seven, so I got into Newfound Glory very early oh. on, and Saves the Day, and all that drive through records kind of stuff, Midtown. Uh, um so and then moving on you know nowadays i i still listen to a lot of the same kind of flavors like uh state champs and chief state and all that kind of stuff uh uh so yeah it's just uh you know it, it's funny like you kind of hold on to that flavor and it becomes part of your life um i was a big skateboarder growing up so listen to stuff like no effects and uh all the skate punk pennywise when i was growing up skating in the early days and, and all that kind of stuff so yeah man it's just it's just it's a part of life you yeah know, for sure yeah I, uh, I got a big heavy streak i love like death for hardcore and my first band was youngster was like a death death for band and so i just got a soft spot for like the real heavy stuff too so, yeah permanent staple still and that's what i love about us is we, uh us as a group you know the other two guys too they kind of have a a similar grab bag of all that kind of stuff and we have like a venn diagram of where we all intersect and uh yeah. it's there's just a lot of good stuff in there there's so. so much good music out there and so many different genres yeah i mean i love it all yeah cross spectrum almost you know no and that's what like i said to kind of bring it all home is what i really like about you guys because you can see the individual influence, but you're you're making it your own. It's cohesive, and you're you're taking risks. You're trying different things, and I'm really excited to hear the new P EP. But I'm really excited to see what you're exploring on the album. It sounds like yeah. you're really excited about it. So that in in that's the thing. It's like some people are like, oh, we got a new album coming out, and we're like, no, like what? We get really excited about this. Where you you can tell that you you've got something good brewing. You can definitely yeah, think, tell that yes. you got something good brewing. I think we're writing some really cool, cool stuff. Yeah. Uh, I love everything we've done so far. And it's a constant. Yeah. It's just getting more and more as a unit, more and more cohesive writing together. Uh, Cause I mean, we all write in our free time too, but in the room, we're really building really cool songs together. Yeah. We are very excited. Yeah. Um, it, there's to share these soon. We're always, we're always like uh, so excited about the newest thing. Ah, oh, the new song, you know, and the next thing. And, uh, you know, it, it's just, it's fun. Like we, we keep this trajectory going and we just have such a good chemistry. Um, like Brendan said, when we're writing in the same room together and there's a lot of that going on with this new album. So it's, it's kind of be sweet. We find those like lightning in a bottle moments, you know, we're like, okay, we're going to chase this now. We're, this yeah. is what we're chasing. Yep. We'll practice all the other stuff later. Let's stay focused right. on this Yeah. until it's like solid enough. Like, okay, we can leave it and then we can write it and build it however we want. But once we're all excited about it, it's like that's where the light stays on. It, you know? Yeah. Um, and you just keep riding, point. keep, you know, to metallic it up, but you keep riding that light. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, 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 so wor you're so worked up from that and you're so charged, especially when you know as a band that you're really on to something. Yeah. And you can just yeah. feel it. And you can yeah. feel it. But, but in the air. It's like that calm before the storm. And when you know it's on, you know that it's on. Yeah, oh, man, I'm really yeah. excited about it. But before we do that, we have we got to hold up that ocean because it's heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. We got a we got a heavy ocean hold to up. hold up here. Mixtapers. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, right, so exactly. honestly, I want to thank you all for coming to hang out with us tonight. Uh, each other a little bit more after this time. And yeah. we're excited to do a deep dive. Enjoy what we got in store for them. Hey, wake oh, up. Oh, oh I'm wake sorry. Up. I'm sorry. Hold on. I not, this, oh. I thought I muted my phone. This never happens. Wake Hold up. On, sorry. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Totino's? No, no. no. Oh. Listen, listen, we said a million. We said a yeah. million each. A million each or nothing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Call me back. I'm just going to finish the interview up. All right? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Woo. All right. I, I'm hoping good things. Fingers Mix crossed. tapers. Make some noise for our featured guest of the week. It's Sean. It's Brennan. It's Floor Song. Make some noise. Woo. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, my God. Thank you so much you for so hanging much. out. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you. Absolute Dude. blast. Yeah, awesome. Mix tapers. Sit tight. We're doing a deep dive. Let's have some fun. Colorado. Um, uh, one, of the, one of my favorite places that I've ever visited. I told you on Colorado State. What is that in Colorado Springs? I don't know why. So it was I don't know why. I've grown I'm quite weary. This is how I talk in Colorado. This is how I talk in Colorado. <laughs> I'm a little upset. That was a great interview, but I'm a little upset because Totino still has not called me back. So, Totinos, we know you're watching. Call me back. Yeah. You got my number. All right? You, you can call me when I'm busy, but you can't call me when I'm free. What's up with that? Call me back, Totinos. That's right. Exactly. That's right. I'm a little left. That's right. Uh oh. Directions. That's true. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Oh man, mixed tapers. We're gonna uh, start our deep dive on on Florson, our featured guest of the week, a pop punk, midwestern emo, uh, post hardcore fusion band. Got a little bit of everything going on. Uh, really excited about them, and I think you are going to be too. Sue Spruggs. They're higher than Denver. Just saying. Oh. They get a little bit higher, get a little bit higher in Colorado Springs, baby. We get a little Ooh. bit higher in Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs. Get a little bit higher. I'm going to get a little bit higher. There we go. That was good. That was good. Uh, you know who does it better than that? Uh yeah, obviously. <laughs> First track in a deep dive. Point of identification. Let's go, Mix Tapers. Blow the chat up! Get some asshole to leave because it was like a free open, like an open park. 
Looking through their set. That's me! I'm back Yeah, that was so sick. I want to go there. I want to go there. Oh. on Twitch, and we'll be uploading uh, the episode onto YouTube tomorrow. Um, as always, Maybe there's been a ton of technical difficulties, but that's how we roll. Yeah. Right it's part of our charm. If, if we don't, if we don't spoil fuck up, the show. if we don't fuck up, who will? Oh, man. You know what? Uh, it's just... We fucked up where everyone it's, else does. It's just who I am. It's what I do every day. I make little that's, technical difficulties. It's, it's kind of like... It's, 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 it's... You go. What, what, what? I know, right? You go. It's just a daily occurrence, right? It's yeah. something that you you know, you add to your to your to do list. It's it's a pretty recent occurrence, you know, it's a yeah. it's like a common routine. Nailed it. Pressing a pen to a page, leaving out everything you're told not to express. Common routine. Second track, keep keep dive. Keep 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 Let's go make space. Blow, blow the chat up for floor side. I want to see some fucking love. Let's go. Here we go. The workforce is you out of bed once again. Another sleepless night fighting depression. You never truly had an honest friend. And your dreams have become an obsession. Your safe space feels comfortable when you can be all alone to dwell in a familiar place. It's a common routine, and it all feels the same to me. Woo! Summer banger! Ah! Oh, there he is! There he is! I there he is! Him, yeah. There he is! Oh, fuck it! No way! It's all summer! I can't believe it! All I've summer! I've trying oh, to see things from the other side Wow! Oh, to find Ooh. solid ground You just had to check out one side to find it, And turn the tide What I'm losing from here Is the pain
Oh, yeah. Straight off regression. Yeah. <laughs> it's a common routine. <laughs> it's a common routine. He's not using it anymore. We can take his fucking thing, whatever. <laughs> oh, mixed day for this. Uh, two tracks in on our four track heat job. That means we're a half day ahead. Uh, just seeing how fucking phenomenal Florence really is. Uh, they've been with us for a little while. And I gotta say, I don't know why we slept on bringing them on so long. We had so much fun hanging out with them. It's an absolute it's because, the, blast. because the timing was just right when it was right. You know, it really finally, was. It just worked out perfectly. And I just gotta say, I love that bass so much. Uh, it's always been my dream bass right there. Was that, uh, that you know, uh, I just Jaguar. I just feel like I'm kicking myself a little bit for not bringing yeah. them on earlier. Like, I've been playing playing them since season two. Like Jesus, man, Truman, what the? Back, you what's 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 wrong with me, man? I don't know, man. Nearsighted twenty twenty, right? That's what they say. No, it's not that. What? No, what's what? Oh, fuck, you got me all fucked up, Dylan. What, what, Dylan, what's the expression? It's not nearsighted as twenty twenty. It's you want uh, me to make what kind of expression? No, what's the expression? Not your face. Our side. Our side of 2020. It's not Always check side. your blind spot. No, it's not that either. Oh my god, no. It's um, what is it? Oh, you guys are killing me with this. What is uh, um? It's not. I have a stigmatism. Oh. I. <laughs> Troubadour. I I know what it is. I know what it is. I don't think your glasses even have lenses. I know what it These is. These ones do. It's not backside. Oh, Sean said it. Hindsight mixed tapers. That's oh, what it was. I thought it was past sight. I yeah. feel like an idiot. <laughs> yes, your sight. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Hell, humongous. Hindsight is always 420, baby. Oh, this is a good one.
Right, baby. Jazzy Big Thick Hand. Coming from Metalhead, you know Woo! it's a tasty riff. Hot damn. Truman was going to clean his glasses on that one. Holy shit. Yeah. I'm sweating bullets. Man. Mixtapers. I got to seriously make some noise for Flora, some featured guests of the week. Can we, just, can, we just take, can we just take a quick moment of silence, please? Holy shit. Just one second. Just one second. Right? Ready? Three, two, one. All right. I just had to recollect myself there. Holy dude, hell. It's not easy. Dude, it's not easy at all. That was heavy. That's almost as uh, heavy that as was... carried an entire ocean. I don't think that was that one. Title track. Upcoming album. I carried the ocean. Let's go. One more time, mixtapers. Make some noise for Florissant. Meet your guest of the week.
get on Catch our breath after the absolute wrecking force that is Florissant there. We need a second. Uh, we'll be right back after a quick word from our sponsors. What it hundred neon lords operates on standing by. There we go. There we go. That's what we want. Make some noise for our sponsors and partners over yeah. at Hive, Game, Traffic, Data Monster, and Neon Lords of the Toxic Wasteland. Hey, you a fan of artists looking for animation, logo work? Look no further than Hive, Game, Traffic, for Hive, Game, for results. And if you reach out to the link down below, you will get 10% off your first order just by mentioning the next day. Now we say it. What up? Woo. And mixtapers, if you are a Funko fanatic like Dylan and me, uh, you're looking for something special that just doesn't exist. Well, look no further than Data Monster, who has all your custom Funko designs needed. Mixtapers, not only am I a very happy, satisfied customer with the gift that I got of Little Punky, so I get to play with Who myself else? whenever I want. Um, but ask 600 other very, very happy customers. And mixtapers, if <clears throat> you reach out and mention the mixtape, you're going to get 10% off your first order just by mentioning us. That's right. And if it's good enough for me, and it's good enough for Jeffrey D. Morgan, but it's good enough for you. Now, mixtapers... We're also proud of our partnership with Neon Lords of a Toxic Wasteland. Are you an avid tabletop gamer, but looking for a new, fun way to spice up your game night? Well, mixtapers, look no further than Neon Lords of a Toxic Wasteland, because they do what D&D don't, baby. Oh, it's a great amalgam of 80s, 90s culture, all put together with a fun, atomic mutant spin that only the 80s and 90s could help encapsulate and uh, mixtapers if you reach out to them and put in your order for the book or whatever item you're gonna get 10 percent off just by mentioning us here we go let me get everything now uh last week we <clears throat> did a raid on Brian and the good folks over there at Neon yeah, Lords. And, it was a uh, fun one. That was, was a fun yeah, one. Yeah, they had this great interactive stream. element over on their stream. You definitely want to go and check it out. 
They're doing a ton of great things over there. Um, they had this spin game where they gave like, all these different toys. Um, dude, I got all sorts of cool things. Um, dude, check it out. Slap bracelet. Got a slap bracelet. Oh. Um, yes. I got some uh, really cool little custom minis. Dude, these guys are awesome. I can't wait to put them into my game. These dudes are awesome. I got these little dudes. I got... Uh, Never mind the bollocks playing Neon Lords of a Toxic Wastelands. I got cool stickers. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, dude. Oh, this is sweet. I got some Hollywood zombie cards. That's pretty sweet. Oh, hell yeah. Um, yeah, I got... What is this? Uh, this is a card of LL Cool J. <laughs> I got some pins. Um... But what's really cool, and I haven't taken it out of the plastic yet because I wanted to do it, is I got a copy of the Game Book Mixtapers. Oh, yeah. yeah! So, big shout out to Brian and all the Neon Lord crew. Dude, this is what you are getting uh, when you get the game. So, this is a hardcover. Hardcover. It looks Look, so pretty. Dude, the art on it is phenomenal. And this is the back. So clean, dude. It's a badass book, indeed. So... The eight. I'm gonna break down the game. Who? Let's see. An age where magic and technology mash, where mutants and monsters roam the toxic wasteland and ruins of the, the forgotten world. Only the strong survive in this new kill or be killed world where attitude is everything. Take up the mantle of a scum dog adventurer to brave the dangers of the wastelands in search of cash and prizes. Collect fantastical gear and wield the galaxy's most powerful weapons to become the baddest dude in the Neo Terex. Holy fuck. What a fucking intro. Um, That's a dude, beautiful. automatically, like the art, it, we got full page art right off the bat. Um, you got introduction to the game, full table of contents. This is unbelievable. Let you know everything you need in order to play, uh, how to do your player selection create your characters, mix tapers. This is awesome. You got to go to the links down below and show, just check it out. If you're looking for a new fun way to switch up your game night mix tapers, this is definitely it. Oh my God. I got nothing but love for the good folks over uh, at Neon it's, Lords. It's a beautiful book. Dude, honestly, I can't wait. Uh, we got a special event that we're going to be doing with them in August. We're going to be sitting down. going to have a very special Friday night game night. Uh, towards the end of the month in August. We're going to be Sorry. sitting down, the whole mixtape crew. Brian's going to teach us the game, going to do a session zero. So you're going to be able to come in, join with all of us, learn more about it, so that way you got a nice little, uh, go uh, like a like a walkthrough guide on setting up the game, which is going to be really exciting. So big shout out to them. And also, uh, even though we don't have a new installment, a big shout out to over our partners at Draw Bomb unbelievable animation channel doing great shorts unbelievable videos great streams they stream every monday they had a new stream uh it's 8 p.m uh eastern time definitely yeah. want to check it out uh 5 p.m pacific uh what they do is they're an animation and writing team and they workshop different ideas and storyboards and they come up with fun things interact with the chat on their streams on twitch and then they create that short so it's a lot of fun. You get to be involved. Definitely go check it out. Seriously, some of the coolest shit that I've seen on Twitch so far is happening over at Draw Bomb. Got nothing but love. And seriously, take a second, go to all these links and support them. Shout out to our partners and sponsors. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but I'm thirsty. I I also, I also got some cool stuff from the Lords. I'll be uh, opening that and recording it. So keep an eye out for that. I'll be on Dylan's social, our social, and on our TikTok. Definitely go and show your support. Uh, our TikTok is starting to add more to it. We got a bunch of these reels that'll be coming out soon. Um, got a lot of fun content that uh, I think you are all going to enjoy. Whew, it's so hot. Dylan, I need something to drink. And I need something to eat at the same time. Oof. Ooh, I'm thirsty. So you want something warm? Um, I mean, I generally just want like I like it hot. 
You like it hot? I like warm. I'm I, I like kinda warm. I need I need a drink and I need something to eat. What where could I go and do that? Well, you could go to this one street in this one town I know. Where? Well, where, where there's could... Milk Street, which leads you right down to Chinatown. No, 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 don't do the act. Don't do the act. I say, don't do it. I said, you did earlier. Oh, I did it now. As I was slowly coming down, shutting in the morning, and my boxers through your house, and I'll move to Florida. Anything to sort it out, but I hate Florida. We never made it to Chinatown. I thought we were naked. Yeah, yeah,
playing at Friday at the I know that because I guess it's the so super excited about that. Damn. 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 Shit. Oh. You don't like warm milk? I don't like warm milk. I don't like warm milk. I don't like any. I like milk street. I don't like any milk. I'm lactose intolerant. Um, oh, you know me. So you, won't, you just won't tolerate milk then? I won't tolerate milk. I'll tolerate yeah. Milk Street. I love Milk Street. Um, so what do you eat with cookies? What, uh, me? I use oat milk. It's not real milk. Oh, that's yeah, I do so that. Milk. You, have, you can eat that warm. Yeah. Uh, no, God, that'd be disgusting. That'd be disgusting. Oh, you know you me. Like I can't even. You, you know me. I can't even drink out of the same cup more than once. I'm so picky. So just put warm milk in a brand new cup. I don't want to drink warm milk at all. You know. God, Trumador gets it. Trumador gets it. Oh, man. You Dude, can never be in Every McCoy morning, he goes out and he buys me new cups. And then, what do I say? The second that you come back, when you have all those beautiful, beautiful cups in your arms for me, I, I call you what? You put, on, you put on your crown and you call me the king of cups. That's right, mixed tapers. He did it! Yeah, Trumador!
Because <laughs> I love you guys. I fucking love you. Uh, come oh, on. Are you, I don't like what I'm so you, far from you. I used to be a competitive cup stacker. <laughs> what? Yeah, I used to be a speed cup stacker. You used to be a competitive speed, speed cup stacker? Kicking a cup and more way than one. Damn, King of Cups. Coming in, Sacramento, California. Uh, brand new back to you was just released uh, just last love week. Love you, Sean. Whew. God, absolutely love all y'all tonight. Yes. God, man. You know what? Not a single one of you makes me want to cut my eyes out. Um, I wouldn't trade idea. tombstones with any of y'all. That's definitely a good thing. Yeah. I love you guys. I want to be able to see you. I want to cut my eyes out. However, trading tombstones would. Let's go, Mick Stampers. Coming in from New Hampshire, trading tombstones, brand new to the mixtape, discovered during mixtape request live. Make some noise, make them feel welcome to the family, folks. Let's go. Stay away.
Oh man, that was. fast going this hard all night it takes it takes a it takes a, a wear on you true me i'm swimming over here baby i'm swimming it's so hot it's so hot true me you stay above the water at least i'm trying to stay above the water on this one try. i'm trying I believe you. what's that you got someone you need, you need i to believe drink. in you dude, honestly dude i think i might go down i might be you going need down. Doug to come save you oh, Doug I, need, can come save I, need, you. I need a hero I need a Ooh, hero over here, because Mick Savers, I can't tread water anymore. Troubadour, what's happening to me? Troubadour, what's happening to me? I'm... Don't drown, monkey, don't drown! Oh, don't drown! Drowning.
Holy shit, mixtapers. That is how you close out a night. Take a moment of brevity on that one. Wow. What a mixtape tonight, folks. Big shout out. Mixtapers, big old shout out to all the amazing artists that were a part of tonight's episode. Oh, episode seven is in the books. Thank you all, beautiful community, for hanging out. Oh, big shout out to all the bands Team Mortgage, More or Less Right, Pushing Veronica, Hike the Peak, Kid Terror, Melt Street, King of Cup, Trading Tombstones, Sky Pop Fire, and our featured guest of the week, Floor Sun. Sweat his beard off, Bruiser. With me, as always, my faithful co host, make some noise. This guy. Oh. Say that again. That my beard's not quite setting off. I'm feeling good. I have a fan. Oh, at least you got a fan. Oh. I won. And the mysterious, yet I can't take my eyes off of him. It's Troubadour! Uh, Mixtapers, be sure to join us next Wednesday for yet a brand new episode of Punky's Mixtape. Mixtapers, it's a crazy world out there. Please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Player score. And as always, remember to stay hydrated, stay educated, and most importantly, stay sexy, everybody. And as Truman or always says, <laughs> a vote for Punky's mixtape is a vote for American Online. Thank you. Have a good night. And a big shout out to Second Player Score for the last minute gift. Yes. Oh my God, we love, we you, love you. Second Player Score, we love you. We love you. I'll see you guys in 17 days. I'm gonna kiss you on the lips, Truman. <laughs> You want to raid? Be local band smoke out. The take a request of all genres. Yeah, let's go. Mixtapers, until next time. We'll see you next week. Thank you again so much. Love you.